What a beatdown. That was just a beatdown. Biggest beating I can remember giving the Steelers. Honestly, 1988, I think we beat them 42-7. to This was a spanking. I thought the Steelers would come out today fighting tooth and nail and give us everything we could handle, but it just didn't happen. Just didn't happen. Wasn't even, didn't even close to happen. It was just a beat down from top to bottom. And it's just, man, it's so hard to make that jump from a, when your team is not very good to make that jump where it's like, man, we're, we can beat anybody. Like, why not? Why can't we go to the Super Bowl this year? I, I really don't see no reason we can't go to the Super Bowl this year. We have all the pieces. The defense, when it's playing like it, they have been the last two weeks, they are, they're vicious, man. And my boy, my boys, who we got here? Eli Apple, uh, my boy, Mike Hilton, uh, pick six against the old team. Both had big plays today. The defense was phenomenal. They just get A pluses across the board. Um, it was great. I guess the only thing, if you had a nitpick, you know, that, that Burrow interception, that, you know, that was a little risky, but he's really done a great job coming out of the bye week protecting the ball. There's no, there haven't been any crazy, you know, forced passes, um, and he's spreading the ball great. He is just spreading around. Today, the guy, the, the receiver of the day was T. Higgins, and he exploded, and, and that's that's the right way to do it. And he said it in the press conference afterwards. If, if they're dumb... Whoever they're double teaming, there's got to be single coverage somewhere. And Boyd and Higgins, they will take advantage of it, just like Jamar Chase will. But Mixon, I don't know. I've never seen either Mixon run like that or the line block like that for Mixon. But he, man, he is starting to hit, hit another gear. And he is becoming one of the premier backs in the NFL. And it was just great. And it's, it's, it's so weird to see the Steelers just flailing. I mean, they were just, oh, help, help, no mas, no mas. I don't know what to tell you, man. So now we're in a position where I would say legit, we could go get away. Obviously, I want to go 6-0. and But we could go 2-4, and four, and I think we could possibly be back in the wild card. 3-3, three and three, I think we're a lock for a wild card. Four and two, I think, wins the division. Five and one, we're going to have the number one seed. So we're still playing with the house's money one week at a time, and I can't wait. I can't wait for next week for the Bengals to rough up Herbert. Herbert is doing fantastic, and good for him. He's And I'm happy for the guy. You know, I honestly didn't think he was going to – I was debating – uh, debating last year who I wanted, Herbert or Tua, at the beginning of the season. And then the more I watched Herbert, I wasn't impressed. And then Joe, Joe Burrow, as you all know, right there, uh, came on the scene with that insane, insane LSU season. And he, he is – this is so crazy if you think about it. Like, living up to the hype. Uh, I, I think back, you know, once I started getting on the Burrow train and just keep watching him every week that year, you know, slicing up. Uh, Alabama, Georgia, then uh, it was like, oh, my God, man. And then getting nervous that we're going to blow that number one pick, which uh, remember that game? Andy Dalton was like, oh, no, you don't. He, ain't, he fought tooth and nail to keep his job. Uh, but Joe Burrow is living up to the insane monumental hype that and pressure that we all put on him as as fans and the, and the Cincinnati Bengals put on him as an organization. But, you know, Zach Taylor – he really has a legit chance to be coach of the year. If they get the number one seed, he'll be coach of the year, which who would have saw that coming, you know? I mean, I was pretty rough on him a couple of years, but hey, it's how it goes. Um, and I, I don't know what happened them two weeks. You know, you look back and it's like, man, really should we have lost to the Jets and the Bears? And Cleveland just handled this. I nothing we can say about that. And I, I'm not going to assume we're going to beat Cleveland. Since we haven't beat Baker Mayfield one time yet. I just, every time he wins, I'm like, How's, how, is, how are they winning this game? But whatever, man. Uh, it's it's going to be a great year. This could be the year. Could, could you imagine that? That'd be unbelievable. Second year, Joe Burrow wins Super Bowl. But I'm of the opinion now, why not? 
Uh, Pat Mahomes, he went to the championship game his second year. Dan Marino went to the Super Bowl his second year. Uh, Big Ben Roethlisberger, I believe, won the Super Bowl in his second year. So it does happen, believe it or not. So let's keep fingers crossed. And bad news for the Chargers. Chargers, we're going to bust you up, son. We are going to... Oh, and the jungle is back today. I couldn't hear, watching from TV, I could not hear endless Steeler rambling and terrible towels. So... That was great. You know, we want to get the jungle back, and this is important. With these last few stretch of games, if we win, if we win the rest of our games, we're going to be the number one seed. It's a mathematical fact. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it'll be a mathematical fact because we'll have the best record in the conference. We'll we'll have won the division because we beat Baltimore. We'll have tiebreakers against uh, the Chiefs. Uh, I guess it'll be the, between the Patriots. I got to check and make sure who they lost to, but we have two a AFC losses. That's what it'll come down to is if it's the same record, New England and the Bengals, assuming we both win out, it'll then come down to conference record. So I'll have to check that and get back with you on my next show. But fabulous. Great job, Bengals, today. Great job, Jungle. Let's just keep a rocking and let's go, man. Let's get ready for the Chargers this week and show the world who the better QB is. Herbert? Or Burrow. Oh, one more thing about Joe Burrow is really reflected on it. The, the, the thing that really differentiates a guy like Palmer and Burrow is the passion, the passion Joey B has to win. He wants to be great. And that kind of attitude, and you can hear even Palmer said, said it himself, the Bengals don't want to win. Well, sometimes if you're this guy, you say, I want to win so bad it spreads around. Even Mike Brown's going to be paying out the money, you know. So it just happens, man. If you get that right guy who's bringing it, like, he makes you feel stupid for not trying to win the Super Bowl. So thank God for Joe Burrow. And looks like thank God for Zach Taylor, too. Let's let's hold on a minute and see how this goes out. But, you know, we're getting close. I'll have to check this again. But we got to be uh, top five in, in scoring offense. That'll be huge, too. So we're going to check that and get back with you. I'm going to have another episode this week. I'm going to start upping the episodes. I want to do three times a week. Be sure to check me out on TikTok, BengalsGenius247. I'm on Instagram. BengalGenius is spreading, man. A guy gave me a comment yesterday, like, you know, this guy needs more listeners, watches. I'm talking about me, you know. It's going to come. I'm not, you know, on the corner, you know, with a hat out saying, please subscribe. I'm... I'm homeless, so whatever, man. It's just a matter of time. You can't resist the passion, baby. Can't resist it. So thanks for watching. Protect Joe and who day? Let's go, Bengals. Thanks for watching. Cincinnati Bengal Genius Show. Eddie Nashville. Gonna go watch the rest of this Packer game. Enjoy. <laughs>